um, ecliptic, more or less. The moon has, it goes along, but at a five degree angle. So the plane, it's really hard as one person to do this, but the plane of the ecliptic is like this, and then the moon kind of cuts it, going that way, and that's the ascending node. It's going north of the ecliptic. It goes five degrees above, and then it goes the descending node, coming back down. Got it? All right. <laughs> Not great times to sow seeds. Because it's, it's two, it's a moment when the moon is actually crossing the plane of the ecliptic and it's kind of just not a great open moment. It's, a, it's already occupied with something happening. So anyway, I gray it out. And I don't like to black things out, so I keep asking, can we make it a little lighter gray just so that people don't get overwhelmed and feel forbidden? But anyway. <coughs> So you see, on the 3rd of February, that's today, at 21 o'clock, is going to be um, an ascending node. So we aren't going to sow seeds tonight. <laughs> okay. And the same thing on Saturday the 16th at 22 o'clock, we're also not going to sow seeds <laughs> at night. <laughs> so you, it's often not even relevant. <laughs> the next thing is this apogee and perigee thing. I don't have to draw for you. We can read it. Apogee is when the moon is, it, we heard that um, Kepler's first law is that the planets don't circle around but they go in an elliptical path. It's very modest, the ellipse. But um, when, the, when the moon is at its farthest from the Earth, because we're looking at it from the point of view of a plant, not from the sun looking out from somewhere else. So when the moon is at its farthest, it's apogee. And when it's nearest, it's perigee. And now, actually, once I gave a workshop and I was trembling in my boots when Bernard Hoff was there. <laughs> and I just felt so embarrassed to be giving a workshop with him there because I knew he knew tons more than me. And he enhanced this picture for me of apogee. Because you'd think, I mean, because it's such a gentle curve, why would exactly the moment of it being farthest away mean anything? It's a real question. But he said it's like a dance, and he likened it to a folk dance. You know, when you're going around and you meet your partner, and you, there's only one moment when you can actually grab on, and after that, you missed it. So, that's, you know, it was a great image of, you know, that it's, it is a dance, and there is a kind of meaningful moment when. Some